driving back from New York. I should say my brother did. I'm just having to drive an hour and a half. He drove like six hours. But um, this is my second mukbang from the 7-Eleven. This is a pastry that I uh, adored in Dallas, Texas when I lived there. They would be found in the Hispanic, you know, Mexican bakeries and I love it and they sell them in some grocery stores in Virginia and it's very bread like with uh, a little bit of frosting and why I like it so much is because it's not that sweet and I did see this banana bread or uh, looks like you know what it looks like two pieces of bread or something no I think it's just banana bread yeah whatever I'll eat that maybe tonight and of course I got 7-eleven hazelnut coffee yeah so let me explain about all the trip it was very hectic uh, I didn't know until I got down there that we were only gonna stay one night and I'm like whoa that means we gotta drive up one day and back the next you know I was a little startled about that because I did take three days off <clears throat> so um, we stayed at a very ritzy hotel as I said so fancy that they didn't even put liners in the trash can. It's been a long time since I stayed in that kind of hotel. But my brother took us out to a restaurant called 15 Church Street and I did do a video of it and I did a video of the menu. There was one item on there my brother pointed out to me. $91 for an ounce. And if you go look at that video you'll see which liquor that was. And he had poured him some Hennessy. And I just took a whiff of the Hennessy. And I, I said, no, that's that's too much. But when he after he, he drank it, of course, it was kind of power, powerful. He got really mellow. <laughs> yeah, really mellow. Now, we went with his youngest daughter, Brittany. And I always tell people she's my favorite. And last night when she heard that, she goes, don't tell people that. And I go, I can't. Because you are. She is my favorite. She's always been my favorite. And I don't mind telling anybody about that. And if you saw the videos of Saratoga, you'll see her in every thumbnail. Almost every thumbnail. So Greg was telling me about this horse. Mozzabella. I don't think I'm saying it right, but whatever. He had never met this horse that he bought. Now, he has got a lot of connections because he's owned many racehorses. He still owns many. And one of his friends who, you know, breeds and races horses put it on Facebook. First one who gives me, I think it was 3500 immediately owns this horse. So he, he said, it's sold. He, he texts back on Facebook, it's sold. So the next day he got a, a wire transfer or whatever for the money. Okay. Um. Mm. I'm licking my fingers like Trisha Paytas. Oh my God. Okay. Now here's the rest of the story. Mozzabella's a girl and she was sired by a dog. I mean, excuse me, a horse. That had made half a million dollars. I could be getting some of these figures wrong because I don't have them in front of me. So my brother went for it. Now she's owned he's a, he's owned her for a whole year. And in that last year, she's been in training with the trainers. Now my brother has to pay the trainers, pay the food bill, the hay bill, whatever. And she's 
going to be racing in Miami in about four to six weeks. And because she came in third, uh, my brother gets about 10 grand just for that. Now, out of that, he does have to pay, the, uh, I think the jockey gets 200. That's what he told me. They get 200 no matter what. Uh, and then he's got to pay, you know, the trainer. And now he's got to pay, I think it's a couple grand to get his horse from New York. Now he's got to pay to trailer her to Miami. Okay. Now, if this horse goes on a claiming race, someone claims her, then my brother doesn't own her anymore. Someone's going to pay, you know, a high dollar for her. But she's more valuable now that she's won. That she plays third. Now, what happened at the gate, Matsabella could have won the race. I'm going to tell you why. When the horses are going into the little stalls that they, you know, the start-off stalls, one of the sto the the dog. Why do I keep saying dogs? I don't know. Oh, it's because I slept with two dogs last night. A husky and a German Shepherd, I believe. Yeah, that's why I got dogs on my mind. I'm sorry. So uh, now, where was I at with this story? Uh, yeah, at the starting gate, there was this one horse, number six. It's a little bit jumpy and jumped so high, knocked the jockey off. Now, because all the other horses are in their little place where, you know, they have to run from. That delayed those horses a couple seconds in there, and they got too comfortable. Because they're trained as immediately as they go in that thing, and they lift that, those gates. That horse is trained to go. But if there's any kind of slight delay, it... it it does something to the horses, some of them. So she was a little late coming out of the starting gate. But they, they did put the jockey back on the horse, and there was an ambulance there. So if it hadn't been for that, because she was late coming out of the gate, she probably would have won first place. Yeah. So I recorded as much as I could, but I realized I need to carry my chargers. Um, it's just so much to remember when you're packing. Since I'm now, you know, a YouTuber, I've got to have a kit of, of extra batteries because sometimes when you're at an event, you can't get to electricity. So I was so excited. My hands were shaking doing the video and I had to stable my hands. And when, when she came around that corner, she just hauled ass. And I immediately put the camera on my brother, and I have never seen a wider smile on him. Now, a lot of people don't understand the races, especially Saratoga. At Saratoga, if you want to go into the clubhouse, which is where we were, you have to wear a tie, a jacket. The women must wear something very conservative, heels, and they were all supposed to wear the men like bow ties and the women, um, you know, wore those really fancy hats like they do at the Kentucky Derby. Like one of the, 
was one of the favorites, so it only paid six bucks. But if you deduct the two dollars, you only come out ahead four. Okay. So, are you liking my mukbang from 7 Eleven? I think it's good. Now, before the race, we got to go down to the paddock. To meet her, we had Greg, my brother, had never seen her, and she just was so loving on him. Just put her head and laid it on his shoulder, and I got a shot of that. It is so precious. Yeah, and I think I should get off on this exit. I took pictures and I put it on Facebook. Everybody said, oh, is that his horse? Is he thinking about buying it? No, he already bought it. But you don't always get to see the horses that you buy, you know. Sometimes they're bought from all the way around the world. And uh, she has a heart on her face. A little white heart. I think I'll draw, draw, um, try to find a picture of her little heart. So, um, it's very rare that Greg and Brittany, they got, like I said, they got to go to the paddock just before the race. They met the jockey and someone actually took the camera and took a picture of all three of them and it was so cute. Uh, it was so cute. I think I'm going fast but I'm only going 35 miles an hour. Greg actually sent a text to the trainer. She was the girl with that long ponytail. Thanking her. 